faculty and staff, welcome. What a glorious day. I appreciate pomp and circumstance being played at Tempo and so we can get in here and stay one step ahead of Mother Nature. So we're going to move this celebration along. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you the president of the Northern Wyoming Community College District, Dr. Kevin Drum. Thank you, Dr. Ingram, and welcome everyone to the 60th commencement for Sheridan College. Yes, this is our 60th uh, anniversary for this glorious institution, and a little more on that at the end of the program. Welcome, family of graduates, graduates, congratulate. Let me be the first to lend you my congratulations. Uh, moms, dads, brothers, sisters, children, aunts, uncles, grandparents, thank you for joining us uh, on this so far beautiful afternoon, and I'm confident I will stay there for about, about the next 90 minutes, and thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up. It knows that it must run faster uh, than the fastest lion, or it will be killed. Every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up. It knows it must run faster than the slowest gazelle, or it will starve. Graduate, it doesn't matter if you're a lion or gazelle, when the sun comes up, you better be right. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming this year's Sheridan College Distinguished Alumna and your commencement speaker, Val Burgess. Thank you. I love to listen, and knowledge has come to me by people who I have listened to. I was a dental hygienist, and a woman said to me, you know, you could be an artist. And I listened and finished that degree. When you listen with your heart, you hear more than something that someone says to you. You all of a sudden see an 85-year-old man whose life is parallel to yours, or a little child who tells you a story, and you realize that those, his, this little child's life is much parallel to yours as well. So what I say to you today is listen. It may come from anywhere. Don't allow a person's face or where they came from or, or, or those sorts of things to define that for you. You know, when I go to do oral histories of World War II vets, a lot of times I'll walk in the, the home of someone and they say, you know, I really don't have anything to say, and I just want to rub my hands and say, oh good, this is going to be a great one. Barbara Jean Anderson, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. <laughs> Kelly Marie Clements, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing, Phi Theta Kappa member. Kayla Dawn Kitorowitz, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. 